Kelly Rowland of Destiny's Child fame calls a stunning property in Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles home with her husband Tim Weatherspoon and their two kids, Titan Jewel and Noah. Kelly purchased their family residence back in 2018 for $3.45 million and it offers all the bells and whistles you could imagine, like a fully integrated home system with high-tech upgrades and elsewhere, a private movie theater. Built in a modern farmhouse style, Kelly's mini mansion boasts 4,285 square feet as well as an all-white contemporary kitchen and outside, a sparkling swimming pool and spa among other amenities. While the former Destiny's Child singer used to have homes in places like Miami and Texas, which we'll check out after, she wanted the perfect place to settle down and grow her family with Tim. She was even featured on the series Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles, where they sent over Kelly's criteria for her house, which included four to five bedrooms, a cozy space where she can actually spend time in every room, and a backyard with enough privacy for her to walk around naked if she so chooses. While that last statement may have changed since then, considering she's a mom of two who likely spends most of her time outside with them now, Kelly still has that privacy that she was searching for. Kelly dropped $3.45 million to call this stunning home in Sherman Oaks, California home, an area of Los Angeles that celebrities have often gravitated towards, and they tend to like for its upscale yet suburban vibe. Kelly's home sits on a 0.19 acre parcel of land and although it may sound compact, it's walled and gated for that privacy she was looking for while also offering plenty of amenities. The surrounding streets are leafy, quiet, and family friendly. While she's also walking distance to Ventura Boulevard where there's shopping and dining all over. In more recent years, Kelly has shown off some of her home on Instagram and we can see how nicely she settled in with her husband Tim and their two sons. In a video that Tim posted in 2021, the beauty of their home could be seen in the background. You could see Tim doting over their son Noah John who was born recently at the time which was captioned this is love. The camera shot around the family's stylish outdoor space showing off the pool, perfect lawns and views across the valley. Kelly's family residence was newly built when they purchased it, constructed in a modern farmhouse style while inside the home spans 4,285 square feet of space along with five beds and seven baths throughout. Seeing as how new the home is, the entire property is also fitted with the best high tech upgrades and security features, including a fully integrated home system with intercom activated gates, cameras, and more. Out front, there's a grassy yard with a mature blue needle pine tree and a large covered porch to welcome you alongside a relaxing sitting area. The front door then leads to a long central entrance hall and to the right, the open plan home has a double height living room with a fireplace. Opposite this is the elegant formal dining room with chandelier. There's also a family room offering another fireplace. Those more recent clips that Kelly and Tim had posted also allowed fans to get more of a glimpse into how they decorated their living spaces. We've since seen that the open plan living area has mostly monochrome theme with luxury details, as well as dark couches and elsewhere white dining room chairs. Kelly's kitchen is all white and modern with porcelain colored cabinets, high end appliances, quartz topped island with bar style seating and an additional breakfast nook. The color scheme throughout the home's interior is quite simple with mainly white, black and gray colors. And there are warmer touches like exposed beams that give a traditional touch to the very contemporary dwelling. At the end of 2021, Kelly also took to social media to show her Christmas decoration setup and offered another glimpse inside the stunning home. Walking through to the living room to see her Christmas tree, not only was that in itself stylish with giant colorful ornaments and more, we could also see their home was decorated with vibrant art. In the living room, they've added a grand piano and there were also floor to ceiling windows offering a ton of light flooding in. In terms of Kelly's master suite, it boasts all the lavish features you could think of, including a spacious bedroom with sitting area and fireplace, a bathroom with dual vanities, an all glass shower and a soaking tub, not to mention large walk-in closet. Out back, there's no shortage of entertainment and relaxation room either. From those clips Kelly and Tim have shared in the past, we've also also seen that the private yard has hedges lining the perimeter, while there are large folding doors that allow the home to fully open up to the outdoors. There's a covered living area back here which offers a TV and built-in fireplace next to some comfy loungers, while elsewhere there's a large stone patio overlooking the sparkling swimming pool and spa. So while Kelly's backyard may seem on the compact side, there's still plenty of room. Since we've looked at Kelly Rowland's current home, before we wrap up this house tour, let's take a trip back in time to the property she 
used to live in up until 2004. This was the place featured way back when on MTV Cribs, and it was her mansion in Sugarland, Texas, a city just southwest of Houston. We don't know all that much detail-wise about this home, except that Kelly paid about $700,000 for the place at the time of purchase, and it spans 5,000 square feet or more with five beds and 5.5 baths according to the MTV series. Walking in, Kelly's home had a great room with double height ceilings, lots of windows, and a Julia balcony overlooking the space. Her bedroom in this home was fit for a queen. She even said so herself. There were also fireplaces throughout, a spacious eat-in kitchen with granite counters, a gorgeous walk-in closet where she even had a section for her dog, and a convenient home gym. Outside on her Texas property, Kelly had an in-ground pool out back, a large garage, and additional motor court to park her cars. Then, in 2014, it was reported that Kelly had been living in a Miami condo and decided to put it on the market. According to records, she paid $1.89 million dollars for an apartment in Miami Beach back in 2005 after moving off of that Texas property. Located on the sixth floor and right on the beach, Kelly's apartment was in a prestigious building, the residences at the Bath Club, which was home to only 107 exclusive residences and offered some of the finest services and amenities. The residences at the Bath Club was a gated 5.3 acre enclave with luxury tower condos, as well as six oceanside villas located directly along the ocean of Miami Beach. Beach's famed Millionaire's Row and just minutes from South Beach. Kelly's former unit here had three beds, 3.5 baths, marble floors, an exercise room, and an ocean view, of course. Tower residences in the bath club offered private high-speed elevators, private grand foyers with double entry doors and 10 foot ceilings. Other features included large glass panel terraces, floor to ceiling windows, and impressive kitchens with sub-zero refrigerators, wine coolers, and top of the line appliances. Residents like Kelly once was, were able to utilize the bath club's amazing amenities, including a heated lap pool, sauna, tennis courts, health club with a spa menu, walking gardens, and much more. The services were comparable to that of a five-star hotel as well with a full concierge at your fingertips, valet, 24-hour security, and fine dining on location. While Kelly left her beachside condo behind for her family home in LA, she was still able to make a bit of profit when selling the space, considering it sold for $2.6 million. Now that we've gotten a glimpse into Kelly Rowland's stunning family home, that'll bring today's house tour to a close. But before we go, answer this question for me. Would you invest in a condo for its world-class amenities, even if it came with a steep additional fee? Let me know in the comments below or if you would just prefer saving your money and doing everything yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned because next we're going to look at the homes of her former bandmate Beyonce. Bye! In recent news, power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce have just bought the most expensive home ever sold in the state of California, paying $200 million for their new property in Malibu. The 40,000 square foot mansion is considered an architectural masterpiece designed by famous Japanese architect Tadeo Ando. The minimalistic concrete abode took over a decade to build and sits on eight acres overlooking the ocean in the exclusive Paradise Cove area. Also known as Billionaire's Row. This may seem insane to most of us average folks, but it seems Beyonce and Jay-Z only go big or go home when it comes to their real estate portfolio. The only other LA area home they've purchased was their main residence back in 2017, which cost them $88 million, and they further invested millions of dollars more into upgrades and renovations, pushed that home's value to over $100 million. Jay-Z and Beyonce have just purchased one of the greatest architectural masterpiece properties in the country, but it came far from cheap, costing the couple a whopping $200 million. With this recent purchase, they've shattered California's records as it marks the most expensive home ever sold in the entire state, and also the second most expensive real estate buy in the country, only being surpassed by $238 million for an NYC apartment. Jay-Z and Beyonce's new concrete compound is located in what's possibly the most prime area of Malibu. Over looking the ocean in Paradise Cove, aka Billionaire's Row. In fact, one of their neighbors, billionaire venture capitalist Mark Anderson, was the former record holder for most pricey home in California, who had bought the mansion right next door in 2021 for $177 million. 
Beyonce and Jay-Z's minimalistic mansion is a work of art, dreamt up by art collector William Bell, who purchased the property in 2003 for $14.5 million and called in famous Japanese architect Tadeo Ando to design the place. Ando is a Pritzker Prize winner who's known for creating impressive concrete structures across Asia, Europe, and North America. You also may have heard his name because Ando is also responsible for designing the home Kanye West bought in Malibu. Jay-Z and Beyonce's modern marvel of a home took nearly 15 years to create and it's made of nearly all concrete and glass. Ando's style is clearly noticeable here as the L-shaped mansion opens up to sprawling open spaces and is marked by concrete hallways and floor to ceiling walls of glass. Not only is the home in the most exclusive area of Malibu, it also sits on a stunning eight acre bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean. The couple's mega mansion covers nearly 40,000 square feet of space and reportedly also used 7,645 cubic yards of concrete to build, according to the contractor involved, Morley Construction Co. According to the construction company, the home also features Bell's private art collection and other design features including a water feature and a jaw-dropping swimming pool. Photos are still slim at this point since the mansion was never on the open market and Jay-Z and Beyonce were one of the select group of buyers the pad was shown to. Considering the property was originally offered at $295 million as a pocket listing, the couple scored a deal. I mean, if you want to call it that. Out back on the grounds, the home's patios lead to the swimming pool as well as the cabana and grassy lawn that overlooks the beach below. Rumors of this unique property have been going around for years online, with Reddit users comparing its monolithic type design to that of a supervillain's lair. Well, now it's Beyonce and Jay-Z's lair. It also looks like the couple has a type when it comes to real estate, considering their other massive home purchase, which they paid $88 million for back in 2017, is a similar looking mansion located in Bel Air. They further invested millions more into this property, which is made up of six structures, pushing its value to over a hundred million. So let's take a look at that place next. It took Jay-Z and Beyonce years to find their main residence. In 2014, the couple lost out on a $70 million Beverly Hills mansion, being outbid by the creator of Minecraft, Marcus Person, and later they lost out on another nearby mansion. But finally, in summer of 2017, the power couple would score their current residence, a contemporary style spec-built Bel Air mansion. While the asking price was at a whopping $120 million, the couple was able to snag it for $88 million, which at this point is looking like a discount and especially when you compare it to the Malibu home they just bought. The 1.88 acre trophy property actually included a 9,000 square foot colonial revival mansion when it was last purchased in 2013. But this was immediately torn down and replaced with the uber modern estate that sits in its place. Jay-Z and Beyonce's house is more like a compound, encompassing six buildings, multiple pools, separate staff quarters, and plenty more outdoor features. Altogether, the structures make up a combined 30,000 square feet of living space or so, and the estate is a smart home equipped with all of the latest tech features. All it takes is a push of a button to open the glass walls. Safety isn't an issue here either with features like bulletproof windows and the entire place is situated behind massive iron gates. While the mansion was stacked with everything you could need and more, reportedly the couple spent millions more over the years on changes like adding a backup generator and another living area under the many pools. Located near Bel Air's East Gate, Beyonce and Jay-Z's home is in a posh neighborhood and there are eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms throughout. Aerial views show how large and impressive it is, and we can see the backyard is divided into different levels. A level right off of the home has an infinity pool and plenty of green space, while the one below you can access by travertine tiled stairs. Up on the roof, you'll find one of the pools, which probably has the best view of all, and it said the huge white space at the top is a helipad. It's said that the architect of the home, Paul McLean, loves long, skinny pools like these ones. And we can see that especially in the pool in the second level. The boutique hotel-sized home offers panoramic city views and inside, the multiple floors are linked together with an amazing circular staircase lined with buttery soft leather. In fact, the sculptural staircase was allegedly carved using a single piece of wood before being lined with dark brown leather while the steps are made of limestone. Automatic glass walls through the home open up to reveal over 10,000 square feet of outdoor living space 
and terraces too for the ultimate indoor outdoor vibe. You wouldn't expect Bay and Jay to have anything but the best in their kitchen. While the home was under construction, the builder installed top of the line appliances. We can see there are two large islands that were custom made in Italy. The nearby living room has a wall sized marble fireplace and of course that floor to ceiling glass with killer views. In terms of the dining room, British Vogue's editor-in-chief Edward Enifel had the privilege of joining Beyonce for dinner once at the home. Writing in the July 2022 issue of his rare encounter around the superstar's dining table, he wrote, I'm a little stunned at how relaxed it all is. Going on to share that her home was impressively minimalist with acres of white walls, gleaming glass, and beautiful art. A luxe bathroom on an upper level of the mansion has views right into the trees, as well as a massive soaking tub perfect for the couple to unwind in a separate shower. The bathrooms are definitely high-end, many with Calcutta marble floors and limestone sinks. This bathroom has a tankless toilet that's environmentally friendly, while all of the walls mounted toilets in their home can be opened, closed, and flushed without touching them. Looking at Jay-Z and Beyonce's media room or home theater, it has all of the best AV equipment with plush furnishings to unwind while enjoying the show. There's recessed lighting, a massive screen, and a door that's rumored to be covered in lizard skin, but that sounds kind of mean and I'm not into that. While we can see photos of a sprawling room referred to as the master suite, we can assume the couple has switched up this space since moving in. There's a wall-mounted electric fireplace and of course some more retractable glass walls leading to the private terrace. Additional features in the mansion include a library office, space for a recording studio, and a spa fitness suite with gym, hot tub, sauna, and his and her steam rooms. The amenities continue out on the grounds with a basketball court, a garage space for up to 15 cars, separate staff quarters, and those four pools. Beyonce is given glimpses of their epic palace on Instagram, including the backyard. We can see the clean aesthetic with black marble walls and neutral colored stone floors. While the mansion has a formal sitting room, the couple also has a family room that's more laid back with mahogany hardwood floors, an abstract rug, and a fireplace. Elsewhere, of course, Beyonce also has a stunning walk-in wardrobe to keep all of her designer looks. She's even shared a look inside her wardrobe while getting ready for red carpet events. It's decked out with wooden floors, cream walls, as well as a huge floor to ceiling mirror framed with warm light bulbs. The pristine dressing room also features a cream velvet sofa at the other side, as well as floor to ceiling windows. Since moving in, the couple has also filled their home with art that reflects their style and personality. Now that we've checked out the homes of Jay-Z and Beyonce, including the new $200 million home they bought in Malibu, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. Before we go, answer this for me. Would you ever wanna live in a super minimalistic concrete home like these ones? Why or why not? You let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat.